for to be approved, but only um, effective July 1st, 2021. Why the change? Change was that we had a pretty robust discussion at CBICR, and basically there was sort of two. By the way, our, our meeting has begun. <laughs> we need to officially okay. announce that. Um, is being recorded? Yes. Oh, is it actually being broadcast? Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, okay. Oh, how novel. So, um, so there are basically two competing concerns in people's minds that I think were pretty commonly shared. Um, one, on the one hand, it was we don't have the expertise to do what this orange article talks about. We don't have the procedures to do what this orange article talks about. We have a um, we have some procedures already, but this is this is much more expensive than what we have. And we all appreciate that, and multiple people, including myself, said if this comes to pass, I probably would, um, depending on how the eventual forum was set up, exactly have to resign um, because I really just don't have that expertise to offer on this particular issue. Um, and in fact, I would probably I would feel like I would have a chance of not only doing damage to the town but to actual people who to complainants themselves because I just wouldn't have any ability to manage that. To say nothing of your own liability. That's right. But and so there's a lot of concerns there. With that said, the commission recognized that um, the system that we have doesn't appear to be working. And so by delaying the date, the motivation was to say um, we recognize that this plan as outlined is not good. We recognize that what we have now <coughs> is even worse. And so we would like to put this 18 month or 20 month ish delay um, in place with the idea that it gives plenty of time to either have CBICR appropriately, um, uh, what would be the right word? Train. Uh, train, recruit. right, to have a new members brought on board. You know, do we do a subcommittee that deals with this, which would be a, a smaller group rather than having the whole commission have to manage it? You know, there could be ways for CDICR to manage this with the right amount of time. We wouldn't be ready to do this right away. Um, and or there could be a completely different process set up that could then substitute this um, warrant article in the next 20 months that um, could be something like a civilian complaint commission, which is what um, multiple other municipalities have, that doesn't just look at police, but looks at the broader issues that, um, that Arthur's um, amendments to the bylaw contemplate. And so that's where we really were, was saying, you know, the CDICR recognizes that this, um, that this has many flaws, but we look to, we, our, our extension of the timeline and approval of the warrant article is really as a motivation and mechanism to keep the conversation going and to improve um, on what we're doing now, which isn't sufficient. Well, what's insufficient about it? Um, I think that a lot of people... In terms of a structure, not in terms of how What's it's insufficient about the... The people don't feel like they necessarily have somewhere that they have to complain if their complaint, particularly if their complaint isn't necessarily police Focus. There could be other areas as well. But I think people also feel like they don't have enough um, places to complain. And Arthur has been um, obviously a vocal um, person on what he sees as the issues there. Um, but I've heard it from other people as well, that they feel like there isn't a mechanism, there's no okay, well, ombudsperson, uh, ombuds commission role there. To so maybe that's what we're looking for. Maybe, but, but right. may, uh, People say that they don't feel that there's a place to, to file a complaint. I mean, it, is there something in the structure of the commission and their procedures for complaints? There is. For, for receiving there's, complaints there's that you a, think there is are... A receive, there's a process and a, po a policy, I should say, on receiving complaints. Um, and I but know what's the defect in that policy? Or is in that, that it procedure? does not, it allows for a complaint to be received and essentially um, passed on. Like it does not allow for any more action. Um, and so and just to give you an example, you know, I, we, ha we receive a complaint on behalf of a person coming through Brookline, something happened, and all that can then happen with that in, as, as one example would be, we pass it on to the select board and there is no um, mechanism for any resolution or follow through. All we do is just hand it off and that's the end of it. Or pass it on to the uh, diversity officer. Possibly, and then what happens? Again, there's no necessarily like there's no mechanism by which 
um, a person can receive satisfaction. It can be received, but there's no, then what happens? There's no and then what to, um, to that process. And like you just said, an ombuds person might be the right way to handle this. And, the, and our amendment is exactly what we hope will help prop some of these conversations about what is a better way to do to manage this. Um, question. Uh, <clears throat> at the last diversity commission meeting, uh, did you talk about this about this Warren article again? I know we took it up uh, about a month or so, about a month ago. It feels like now, but at the last meeting, which was I think a week or so ago, did this come up again? Did you? It came Joel, up again, and we yep. chose not to reconsider. Chose not to reconsider. Yes. Um, we consider reconsideration. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I still am uh, struggling to understand the difference between what's offered by the petitioner and what already exists. Um, I mean, namely, this does say um, that that the that the commission would recommend appropriate action to the select board within 90 days of receipt of the complaint. I don't know how that's any different than what is already um, our process that you just laid the out. The difference yeah. is action. There's no action. What action? That's the point, is the commission would then determine what is an appropriate action, whereas currently we don't have this mechanism to recommend, to make recommendations. But what, what, what would be an example of an action, and, and what would be your authority to impose that remedy? The point is that the authority comes from the bylaw change. The, the authority would be from this warrant article. So and what would be the action that, well, that the, the, for example, and I'm coming up with this very quickly now, but say, and this is where we get into the part where I don't feel very comfortable that the CDICR has this um, ability or expertise, and I know I certainly don't, so take my example with all of those caveats. Um, say that a student, um, and I'm picking a terrible example for a good reason because I can talk about why this is a really bad example. A student feels that they have been, um, do you need to use a student example? I want to because okay. I specifically want to flag that there's issues around FERPA, which is the Student um, Protection, mm -hmm. uh, Federal Protection Act um, against their personal information being released. Mm -hmm. A student has some complaint that they've been some way discriminated against and they you know, have taken it through maybe, or they haven't taken it through any channels up through their school. They don't feel like they've gotten the satisfaction through other channels. CDICR is another vehicle for them with which they can then seek recourse. And the issues are, as I said, FERPA. Um, the issues are that CDICR doesn't have the, any sort of HR, um, this imposes on HR issues. This might, if it's a teacher, it might be a union issue. In addition, there's a, there's. So, so th this, this bylaw would super, or, or um, preempt union rights, FERPA? Oh, I don't, I'm not understanding. I think that the point is that all relevant. of those things could probably come into play. We at CDICR we got a very comprehensive, what I thought was a comprehensive, um, forty thousand foot flyover by Ann Braga, who basically outlined many of these issues. And there was also at the same at uh, the same meeting where we considered this, Sharon Abramowitz had received the memo from outside counsel regarding some of these <coughs> issues, such as FERPA and implications on the school. Um, Amend Arthur's amendment relating to the school specifically. Um, and so there's certainly lots of issues there and this would be problematic. Again, with that said, what can, how can we make this better? What can we do before July 1st, 2021 to have a better, and I like, you know, an yeah, idea so, of an ombuds so, person. So, sort of so in terms of the school, we have a fairly robust federal and state scheme to address the types of issues that, that would be coming up. What, what about non-school situation? What, what, what type of action would the uh, commission be coming up with for, for us to implement? I, I guess the point is they get the, the option to investigate and ask, um, perhaps a DPW employee thinking of back of previous cases feels that they've been discriminated against in some case. They've taken it through the department through HR. They haven't felt like they've received um, appropriate satisfaction, and this is another vehicle for them rather than going through the traditional HR routes. So, so or a, a person in the park feels like they've been treated poorly by a DPW employee or something like that. And so if DPW uh, rules that you know there was no discrimination, let's say, and the um, commission rules, well, there was, what, what are you saying that we would be required to do? That's a good question. Truthfully, I'm not sure that it's 
yeah. specifically saying what you're going to be required to do. The point is so that, I mean, that they will make a recommendation, right. or they yeah. being CDICR would make a re recommendation to the Select Board of Action. At that point, I think it's... it's uh, you know, my, my concern is that they make a recommendation that goes against, let's say, oh, we're using DPW. Yeah. Uh, probably better examples, but goes against a decision by the DPW process or, or by HR. And their decision is, you know, there's discrimination and you have to do X. Then we're sort of put in a position of, of, of either doing X or defending our department. Mm -hmm. And that's an unfair position for us to be in because, you know, then we have to go through and, and determine whether your procedure or DPW's procedure, you know, was, um, you know, valid. You have no argument for me on that front. I don't okay, think so that the warrant article, mm -hmm. as outlined, is some sort of panacea. Mm -hmm. I think the exact opposite. But, and again, I'm here representing the amendment to push the effective date out by okay. a year and a half so that we can really find the right way in which to address these but issues. Which <coughs> I don't see why pushing it out, uh, I think we should just refer it. Pushing it out to 2021 only pushes it out. And, you know, who is going to be working on it? Who is going to, these are naughty problems to solve. They're not easy. And given, um, you know, everything else that's going on and people's attention and time, I think it's, uh, I think that pushing it out is not the answer. Pushing out a bad law is not the answer. It's a bad law, a bad procedure. And so we should do We're something to try to make it better. And pushing it out doesn't make it better to me. But what we need to do is refer it and have it considered by, um, And, and study in a comprehensive way. I mean, as far as I can say, if it's a if it's a bad law, it's it's the law we have currently is a bad law. I mean, the I'm only not, difference. I'm not saying that it is. Yeah, yeah. I, the I only difference. Replace it. Yeah, the only difference yeah. that I can tell now between what exists and what is being proposed is the current policy says that this that this what's called the complaint screening committee, which is part of the diversity commission, will prevent its state present its statement of facts to the town administrator or board of selectmen now select board, uh, with a request that the select board take any action it deems appropriate. What this says is that the, the commission will actually make a recommendation. That is that is the key and, as far as I can tell, only difference between what's already written here. Um, I, I mean, someone else tell me that knows better, Mr. Kleckner, or someone else, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm concerned that we would be bound by this language should this pass, even with a, with a date of 2021. We're still bound by the language that town meeting would vote which means, I mean, if you don't think it's a good idea and, and we don't think it's a good idea and the Diversity Commission doesn't think it's a good idea, I'm not quite sure why we vote for this. Yeah. Um, but if we, if we refer it to the Diversity Commission, then we can actually take a look at what we currently have, make whatever changes are necessary, or the Commission could decide this is not the business we want to be in, despite the fact that three years ago the Diversity Commission, that neither you or I were on at the time, decided that it was the business that they were going to be in. Um, or someone. Do we know if this was passed? This was then passed through town meeting, was it? It was. Or it was, was through town meeting? Yeah. So it was. All right. So, and there's, there's, there yeah. was a robust discussion right. about this very type of proposal that yeah. was defeated at the time. I think it was the first town meeting I sat through. All right. So, um, I guess my, my, my request back to you would be I, so I've filed this amendment specifically because of the CDICR vote, which I um, resonate with. Um, and voted for, but I guess what I would like to say is when we vote no action on this, it can't be a no action full stop. It has to be a no action and there's got to be something else to happen here and that something has to be time bound. It can't be, and we're going to refer it to a committee and that's where it's going to die, but it's going to be referred to a committee with some sort of time bound action by which we need to have some sort of concrete um, plan, way to do something different. Yeah. And that really, that again, I guess the CDICR action is is bringing up that time-bound element to saying we need to plan. We got to do this mm -hmm. right. Well, but th 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 this is well, well, we've our motion is that, or the advisory committee motion is that it be referred to a moderators committee, and um, concurs with the motion offered by the committee yeah. uh, as follows. You know. 
to report no later than the annual town meeting. I don't know. That I would yeah, say of this May. Yeah, the difference here well, is that. That's 2021. Okay. That's 2021. Well, then that's relatively aligned. Aligned except, except our, our committee, our our, our vote was to refer it to the commission. Yes. And we can set a we can set a date on that. But, you know, I think that would be what, appropriate. What were you about to say about what the difference is? No, no, that was it. Oh, okay. That was exactly it. Yeah, you they're know, referring to the I moderators have, committee. I don't have an objection to come in line with the advisory committee for to a moderators committee uh, that ends in 2021. I would, I would assume that, I'm, I'm, and I'm again, this is totally speaking for myself and not for the commission in any way, obviously. But I would assume that a moderators committee, by bringing in people who are perhaps more familiar with the intricacies of the town, which not all of CBICR is, but clearly that moderators committee would consult closely with CBICR might be the better approach to take, because and perhaps even have overlapping members, significant overlapping membership, um, but clearly close consultation um, might be the right approach. Well, and the other thing is if the, the CIDCR, CDICR doesn't have the right expertise now to send something to them to investigate, mm -hmm. doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It makes sense to to form a new committee which has the relevant expertise yeah. um, to sort this out and come up with the right answer as opposed to um, sort of having a, something hang over our heads for, for some period of time and not give uh, folks the tools or the expertise to, to come up with the right conclusion. So our vote called for including the Chief Diversity Officer and Director of Human Resources which uh, are two in the process. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? I couldn't hear I'm sorry. Uh, our vote. It included including the chief diversity officer and the director of human resources in the group that would mm -hmm. review mm -hmm. the, um, the the, the uh, commission's procedures. I think it would be interesting too to have someone from the pool department as well. You can put whoever you want on. What? <laughs> well, you're yeah. reconsidering your vote right now, right? Isn't that the point that you could be reconsidering? Or not? Whatever. Well, if it's no, actually I mean, your is, is, there, is there interest in reconsidering our vote? Well, if I'll we wanted to add the date, so I'll move reconsideration. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, on favor of reconsideration, Mr. Franco. Aye. Ms. Heller. Aye. Ms. Um, Hamilton. Aye. Ms. Fernandez. Aye. I guess I should vote aye. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now what? I'll move um, coming into alignment with the advisory committee's uh, motion. Referring it to a moderate, uh, moderate a, um, moderators committee. committee. Yep. And, and I would I would make a friendly suggestion that mm -hmm. the moderators committee, with the amendment that the moderators committee include uh, the chief diversity officer, um, because uh, pardon me. If, if he'll take the amendment, we can write it up for tomorrow. Um, but we need to confirm that we need that any revised motion needs to be run by him. Okay. okay. Well, I just I think that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell I'll me. just I'll just say I won't support anything that involves a moderators committee. I, I just I just think in principle, uh, first of all, a committee that is that is um, designated by one person that is put together by one person is not good practice at all whatsoever. Uh, I think the idea of moderators committees in general are bad practice. Uh, and I think that what the select board did when we voted on this was the exact right thing, that we the diver we empowered the diversity commission, which, I mean, ultimately, I, I don't know that members of the diversity commission would want a separate group, um, likely less attuned to these issues in many ways, deciding what the commission itself will end up being tasked with. I would, I would think that the commission would want that responsibility itself and to determine its own fate, and that the select board um, wisely included the chief diversity officer, the petitioner, the director of human resources, and we can certainly add someone from um, representing the schools to this. Uh, I don't see why we can couldn't. Can I respond to that? Yeah. I think that um, my understanding, and again, I've, I've been to two meetings of CBICR so far, so I'm the, not quite the newest member, but almost. Um, but my understanding is that CBICR has a practice of setting up subcommittees, which include members people who aren't part of the committee. And so perhaps another way to accomplish what you're saying and what you all want is to have CBICR set up a committee on this topic, a subcommittee, and then um, have that committee contain ex officio, Lloyd, um, and who's the HR person for schools, Lisa, I think is her name, et cetera, et cetera. And that might be a way to achieve the same thing without having to go through the process of actually appointing a moderator. 
Yeah, I think that's what we that, that's yeah, what we've done. Yeah. 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 You want to make a motion or wait? Have you made a motion? But again, hopefully motion. with the time, okay. does, does your does your does your original motion have the May 2021 report out? It no. doesn't. So would you add that into? I'd be happy to do. Uh, what's the moderator going to say? Well, I, what I would recommend to the board is that you could stay with your language and when you set the charge, the IPR, you can include a date. Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 That's a good idea. Could we also at that point uh, recommend that a, a member, either, I don't know if we're going to say someone yeah, from the you schools. Could, you could go beyond what you're saying. We could do that. Yeah. Do, charge to a board of commissioners. Um, okay. You know, so you could, you could do that. Okay. okay so and that we could set a date, too? When yeah. You, when you In the charge? The, we are referring the charge to you, and we expect a report back within the time. Um, mm. Well, I'm glad I didn't write my remarks. <laughs> <laughs> so that means yeah. that uh, we're not going to reconsider, uh, or at least it seems, unless well, you have to have Mr. Uh, no, Franco's motion uh, Just passes. Just when you report to town meeting, you can indicate what your intention is. Okay. Well, my concern is that you're, you're acknowledging that DICR doesn't really have the expertise <coughs> to deal with this. And so I think there may be procedures and recommendations that you need someone with expertise. So that's why we would add them onto the subcommittee, because yeah. DICR has the practice of adding additional people onto subcommittees yeah. who complement the committee's expertise. And, and so those yeah. people would all be added onto the subcommittee charged with this. Mm -hmm. And I, I think the uh, commission does have the expertise except if the if you add the language from the warrant article which includes prepare written findings that is what sort of pushes it outside yes. of their area of expertise well in the investigation part two mm -hmm. right. yeah um <laughs> yeah that's what we, what we heard from the hr director yes exactly yeah. and, and everyone mm -hmm. on the commission agrees and we do have members who are uh, kelly who raises our former chair is HR professional and mm -hmm. our current chair um, is also versed in that, but we need more and from the town side. So okay. by referring it to the DICR, we're not saying that the DICR would be responsible for taking over these procedures? No. It would be responsible for analyzing this coming up with a recommendation in concert with these other people who mm -hmm. we've just discussed and reporting back by May 2021, right. which is again close to the same time frame that the commission mm -hmm. itself has talked about. Yeah. So okay. I'm, I'm fine with that. <clears throat> just one note about um, HR expertise on the commission. Um, my understanding is that the HR professionals that are on the committee have not worked in a unionized environment, mm -hmm. which is it's sort of a subset of HR, which has its own <coughs> um, complication. So I think um, to the extent that we're relying on <coughs> citizen HR expertise, there should be some acknowledgement that it should match the environment that mm -hmm. the town is. They, and they certainly do yeah. not feel like they have the expertise to, because of yep. those exact and yep. other issues. Mm. Okay. Um, so we're not gonna reconsider. Well, we, we have reconsidered, so. Yeah. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. I'll just move <laughs> That's the right. I, I move we'll the reconsider or reconsideration. Well, I, I, let's just, I move that we stick with our recommendation along the same lines okay. as we've just discussed. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Uh, Mr. Franco? Aye. Ms. Heller? Aye. Ms. Hamilton? Aye. Mr. Fernandez? Aye. And Chair both sides. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Is that it? Yep. Yeah. Uh, no other matters on, or no other well, matters on the you agenda. Have a, you have a supplement for Article 9. Um, right. But you refer to Article 9, so I didn't, and this was presented by David um, the night that he voted on Article 9, so I don't think it changes your position. Okay. It's just publishing it. It's just actually written up. Yes, okay. All right. Uh, okay. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Feel like we went round and round to get back to where we started. Yep. <laughs> That's life, Ben. Well, I didn't. <laughs> I, didn't I didn't know. <laughs> so <laughs> part of the problem. <laughs> <laughs>